Overwatch maps have a lot of secret jumps, techniques, stall spots, and more, so here are some of the best. My name is Nate, and welcome to Blizzard Guides. In the first section of this video, I want to go over the essential jumps that you need to know as a newer Overwatch player, and then the later ones are going to be the really cool, very crazy ones that you may not know about. On second point of Hollywood, you can get onto this high ground by jumping on these hay bales. Also, this works on the other side as well. On Eichenwald, second point right before the capture, uh, you can actually get onto this high ground. This is useful if you're a defender, especially if you're a support like Anna. Next up on Shambali Temple, the new map, you can actually make this jump. Believe it or not, you just need to know the right spots on the rocks. Um, I don't know if this will stay in, but it's a very, very strong flank. On the second point of Blizzard World, you can get onto this robot by jumping into this little crevice and then jumping on top of the robot. On King's Row, third point, you can go underneath the point and flank. On second point of Midtown, you can make this jump from attacker high ground to defender high ground and vice versa, but the defender high ground to attacker needs that railing, so that one is a bit more difficult. Similarly, on the second point of Midtown, if you need to get back onto Defender's High Ground and you fell, you can make this jump either via the railings or this fire hose connect. Now, the railings may be broken, so you might need to use the fire hose uh, jump. On second point of Circuit Royale, getting on top of this tent is really useful if you need some extra cover but still want to be able to engage the point. Another jump on second point of Midtown is this one right here. It gives you a good line of sight without having to take those stairs, so if you need to continuously heal your team but still get high ground, this one's great to have under your repertoire. On Numbani, if you're defending second point and you fall off high ground onto this bus, you can make this jump back. And also for OG Overwatch players, this jump is way easier to do now. It's not as hard as it was in Overwatch 1. On Paraiso, you can make this jump on second point. Uh, you just need to make sure you go off that left square on the corner. On third point of Paraiso, if the payload is here, you can make this jump onto the high ground. This one's very good to know. If you're on first point of Dorado and need to get high ground by the capture point, you can actually go up here through this jump, either from the barrel or the speaker, and that just gives you quick high ground access. This is probably the most important jump in the video, uh, Junker Town, third point, you need to know both of these jumps, especially the second one. Uh, this point would be played entirely differently if these jumps didn't exist. It, it's what the pros use literally every single game all the time. On Route 66, you can make this jump. It's easier if the railings are there, but you can make it without the railings. Uh, but this is good if you're a defender and you need to uh, uh, retreat to fight. On Watch Point Gibraltar, a lot of players know this one, but you need to be able to get up to the blue boxes and then also jump across to the third tier of the high ground on the first point. You can actually make the jump from the left side too. Uh, a lot of players don't know that. On second point of Watch Point Gibraltar, if you're trying to get on top of the spaceship, there's actually two routes you can take, and the second one is far better because you're less visible from the opposite side high ground, as you can see here. Uh, so make sure you use that route when you can. Also on the second point of Watch Point, just by the end, you can get onto the high ground by using this forklift. This works on both sides, just jump on the tire and then onto the roof. On Busan, downtown, you can just make this jump. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Also, on Sanctuary, this jump, most players, it's pretty straightforward, but you can get onto the high ground from here. On Ilios Lighthouse, you can make this jump from the sign to the awning to the bridge, uh, but it's a pretty difficult jump to make. Uh, so, And also, the sign's destructible, so it has to be there. Uh, so make sure you practice this one if you want to use it in your games. On Lijong Night Market, you can make this jump onto this wall, which is good if you're trying to get onto the point quickly and stall. It's just a little bit faster than walking around. And also, there's this one with the lion that you can jump onto his head and then get across as Tracer or Brigida or any hero with the horizontal movement ability. On Lijong Gardens, you can make this jump by hugging the walls and walking up the rocks. You might need one little jump there, uh, but you can also make this slide onto the point. This is good if you really need to get on point quickly and stall it, but they're blocking that entrance. On Nepal Shrine, this jump is super important. You can make this jump from the gong to the left side of the high ground or the right side if you're on the opposite side. This one you should probably be using in every game. I use it all of the time. Now that we're past all of the basic jumps, I want to get into the crazier map techniques that are a bit more advanced and very useful to know. A lot of these I learned while making this video. 
this is a great chatter spot, and it's a great spot for all heroes like Anna. If you want to get a good nade, you just have to get stuck in this little crevice in the rock and then wait for four seconds and you'll hit a bounce and then you want to go up there. Make Magic Marv OW discovered this one. You should definitely check out his channel, it's great. On Dorado, if you're on Zarya or any hero that has a bounce ability, uh, like, you know, that, you can make this jump off the sign. Credit to LH Cloudy for this one. Normally, you can't make it up this little wall as Reinhardt, but if you charge, hold, jump, and then cancel, charge, you get a little bit of a boost, and you can actually make this jump. Bastion's new bomb ability allows him to have a movement tech, but few players know you can actually double bounce by jumping and then using your bomb in the air. This allows you to get it just in time to get a double bounce, and you can get into spots like these. This one on Eichenwald is a famous stall spot for Farah players or Junk players or old Doomfist players, but now you can use Bastion in this roof stall spot, which is incredibly effective and very strong. You just need to get stuck in that little crook of the, the roofs. Next up, check out this Bob spot. Were you wondering what I was trying to do? I was just standing there. Yeah, you're just sitting there. Like, the... And this hook spot is broken. There are a few more, uh, but we'll see. Maybe in the next video. This jump is stupid. You don't need it, but you can jump here. The railing has to be there, but I don't really see why you'd use it. It's, it's hard to do. This jump is insanely impractical. I've seen it done a few times. I, I do it with a run, but apparently you can do it walking. It took me like 20, 30, 40 tries to get this once. Uh, so yeah, not practical. Here is a crazy stall spot you can do as ball. Okay, now which minefield on the comp. Okay, come on, say guys. Bitch. <laughs> and this is a ball tech that you can do where you hook underneath a platform and then spin in circles. Uh, there's a few more spots uh, that I used to know, but they were on 2CP, so I don't know any of the spots that are on uh, maps that are in Overwatch 2. Oh my god! Bug! He's one! Ball one! Ball one! No, no abilities! On Havana, you can make this jump from low ground to high ground, and you can also make it from the high ground to the top of the two brewery pillar things, um, but the railing has to be there, so that uh, doesn't always work. Uh, but there's also a broken sightline there, you can peek through that crack and get a kill. Next, this is just a weird sojourn tech you can do. Uh, you can rail slide on slopes that are off the map. Yeah. Weird. Also on Junker Town, you can make this jump if the barrel is there, but if the barrel is broken, you can only make the jump with tanks or heroes like Bastion that have larger hitboxes. It's, it's a bit tricky to get the jump, you have to aim here and then jump to the side. There's also this stall spot so that you can hide while the enemy is about to push high ground and then boom, hit them with the tire or something like that and get kills. Next up is that this is Stupid, stupid hook on Rialto. Don't do it to me, but you can do it. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Also, if the cart is in that location, you can also make the jump onto high ground. On Route 66, you can only make this jump if the cactus is there, uh, but this is really good if you're uh, just opening as defenders uh, and you need to get back on high ground. Also, you can hide in this spot on Route 66, which is really good if you've got Blade or you're Lucio and you want to ambush somebody or something like that. Um, SK showed me this one. And then also, make Magic Marv, I saw this one on his YouTube channel, uh, yeah, you can make this jump, and then crouch and walk forward and make it up here to this crazy sight line. Yeah, it's pretty strong. On Busan, another make Magic Marv spot, if you jump right as the wall is reaching the top, you actually get a super boost. Normally you can't make that jump, but if you jump right before it reaches the top, boom, no problem. This is really good if you have an enemy Widowmaker that's harassing your team. If you get a good wipe, you can uh, go up there and then hide and ambush her. 
This is one of my favorite hiding spots. I use it all the time. It's great for punishing somebody when they're pushing in. On Sanctum, there's a ton of really good hiding spots for Lucios or Bastions or Pharahs to Barrage or Reapers to ult. Just hide up here and boom, you can attack people. You can be up here as well. And you can even be on this pillar and you can just boop people from there. And also you can make this jump. Not a lot of people know that, but it's very useful to know, especially if you need to get on point to prevent them from capturing. Now, obviously there are a ton of other spots that I have missed from this video and techniques that are equally as cool. So if I did and you think I should have included it, please leave a comment down below and you'll be featured in the next video with your spot that you have claimed as the one that you think should have been in the video. But now let's show off some crazy Widowmaker spots that are also useful more than just Widowmaker. For example, if you want to get a sneaky barrage or echo clone off, you can get up to these spots or I don't know, Lucio ambushing them from the skies above. For second point of Hollywood, this is a crazy good spot. I saw this one on a real Kenzo video. This is one of my favorite spots on third point Eichenwald. A lot of players don't know about this chandelier that has one of the most ridiculous sight lines that you can have. It's great for Hanzo, Widow, or Ash players. Normally, you can't have line of sight to the spawn doors as Widowmaker on King's Row first point, but if you hook up here, you actually have a perfect line of sight. On Midtown second point, there is this hook spot that you can do. Just crouch when you reach the top and boom, you have line of sight of nearly the entire point. I saw this one in a video by a YouTube channel called Umeru. Uh, they actually have some really good videos, so you should check them out. In the same Umeru video, I saw this spot. Now, it seems like it's not that great, but actually you have improved line of sight versus that high ground that you normally get, and it's better because you're protected from flanking people that take the stairs. Just another ridiculous sight line on the Umeru video, you can do this. You can see the entire point on Esperanza. It's ridiculous. This one definitely won't be in the game for long. On Circuit Royale, you can hook up onto this side. Just make sure that you crouch when you reach the top and you have a crazy sightline that most players won't expect. This one's really good if the gates just open up because the match just started. You can surprise the enemy Widowmaker. Also, a lot of players do know this one, but I'll put it here. Uh, you can shoot through this little crack uh, on the first point, and this one's super strong. But that's it for this video. Leave a comment down below with any map spawns, map text, or anything related that I might have missed. I, I definitely didn't include some examples that should have been in this video so that I could put them in the next video. So if you claim them, uh, hey, you'll be in the next video. So leave a comment down below. Also, be sure to check out our Discord, Twitter, and Instagram from the links in the description down below. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a nice one. My name is Nate, and this was Blizzard Guides.